Good morning, you beautiful people. Change of seasons is coming, guys. Keep going through my head. What do we need to get done for projects before winter sets in? We've done so much here this past spring and summer. Now we got all these little stuff we gotta finish up. I'm trying to figure out what to do today. I know what we need to do, but I'm just trying to figure out the process. Let's go over here and we'll feed you in the grass. There you go. I love the change of seasons because it's like a slow down pace, changing it up, doing different things. But at the very beginning, like right now, I'm kind of like, ah! I'm going full throttle all spring and summer, so now it's kind of like, wait, I gotta slow down a little bit. I'm not used to that. So I think my body resists it. Or I resist it thinking, I can't slow down, I gotta keep going, I got all this stuff I gotta get done. What do you mean I can't get out here until quarter of seven and milk the goat? So there's a lot of, a lot of shifting going on. So we'll get the boys some grain and get them out and fed. Missed it with a little bit of water. And then we got a little mineral concoction here. But I like to just dust the feed a little bit and I missed it with water so that way the minerals stick to the grain and they have to eat it. Those minerals help give them a nice coat, keeps their fur healthy, and all of our soils are lacking minerals, so it gives them to the goats, and then also the goats poop them out, and then that adds those minerals to our compost and to our soils. We've been having a lot of viewers asking us to see the male goats more. The viewers want to see you guys more. They say we don't show the boys enough. You're cute. Actually, I want to feed you over here. There you go, ready? There you go. up a lot of projects in the next week or so doing a lot of oddball stuff getting ready for the seasons changing <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you are in the same boat uh, we got seven cords of firewood put away we got about three more scattered out throughout the property that we need to get put away we got to finish up our breeding pen uh, our pasture that we built last year that's gonna get mowed before it gets snowed on gotta build a foundation on the back side of the barn because I want to build a lean-to off the barn and if I can get the foundation done before winter that can be a winter project some point to build the lean-to in the roof <sighs> what else we gotta do Willow we got quite a few things left oh. <sighs> thank you Willow I need to fix this. We have a lock that I made for there, and the goats chewed it last winter. I haven't had the time, I haven't taken the time to fix it. There you go. Good morning, girls. Hope, oh, good morning. Yes, good morning. I know, you too, Blossom. You ready to go outside? Come on. You just shut the door on yourself there, Buttercup. Yeah, you did. Go ahead, I'll go meet you over at New York City. There they go. Good 
morning chickens. Feels weird only having one batch of chickens over here. All summer long we had New York City, the black copper morans over here, and usually a batch of meat birds. Now it's just New York City. Good morning. I was coming to see you kids playing on Goat Mountain. There's nothing in there. It's empty. Don't worry. I didn't give you nothing. Hey. Hey you. Pretty neat listening to him walk in the leaves. Where's your partner in crime? Come on, guys. You guys liking your coop? Huh? I'll have to come out here tonight and see you roosting on the roosting pole. He is one beautiful rooster. So we have a black copper moran rooster, two black copper moran females, and an olive egg layer. The black copper morans are gonna lay like a deep chocolate colored egg. Can't wait to show that to you. And the olive egg layer, she's gonna lay an olive green egg. I can't wait till I start laying eggs. You look cute in your winter hat. Mm -hmm. You look chilly, but cute. So let's get the fence up for the, we'll call it the breeding pen. We gotta get a gate for that at some point. We can get the fence up today, and then we'll try to get the pasture mowed before that gets laid down and we can't mow it. So the other day I was gonna pick, cut the sunflowers, but they look so beautiful and pretty, and then I waited too long, and then they got... Now they're probably looking now. They're all like dying. Oh. Uh, I did get a couple off there yesterday, but... They, it looks like a few of them got hit hard last night. I know, right? That post is good and set. That concrete hardened up good. Did you tell them that we changed our mind? No, I never. That one's, that one's good. That's gonna be the one with the gate. Not sure if we should measure and cut this first, if we should just roll it out and work it as we go. As we go, don't measure and cut. Worked it like this. You want to come over here and grab an end? There we go, that one. don't have a board stretcher, but we're gonna try something. Let's see if we can get it to work. I'm gonna weave this scrap piece of pine through the fence, and Gina's getting a ratchet strap. Curious to see. 
Uh, no, one should be good. We can ratchet strap this board to that, and then step the stand. Did you come up with something? I think so. I'm gonna get this set up if you want to grab the tractor. We're gonna need the tractor bucket to push the fence down after. The keys are hanging up inside still. click I think that's that's tight looks good the post takes all the pressure I saw a little move a little move but not too bad no I don't think so a bit more movement, but not terrible So this is woven wire, they knot, basically like they knot the joints. It's not welded. So it's better if it was welded, we couldn't know if we stretch that down, yeah. it wouldn't stretch. So because of these knots, you're able to do that. So to get longer wire, like these pieces, I need longer. I can just cut them and take it off. If you want to hold them, I'll give the trash part to you. Watch out, Tanner. Tanner Manor. Boom. Now we need to figure out where we want to cut the fence back to. So if we 
do that. That'll look pretty. Maybe if we go here, it'll give us more meat. Something like that. need to get a gate for it and they're on sale this week I'll make sure we go get one this weekend ah came out nice took a lot longer than what I was hoping to do because I wanted to get some of that pasture mowed today but everything looks nice and straight the fence is nice and tight it's gonna last so we'll change gears and we'll do another little project instead to get ready for winter Two and a half cords of firewood dropped off over here last winter. This stuff is really dry, so we gotta get this stacked on the trailer and get it in, and we'll stop burning this stuff second. We have some old firewood that we had under cover for two winters that will burn first, and we'll burn this stuff, and then we'll get into the new wood that we got delivered this summer. <sighs> so we got quite a bit of wood left still to pile. We ended up getting firewood from a different guy this year. The guy that we got it from this year, he only does 16 inch long firewood. He doesn't make custom firewood. And our stove takes up to 24 inch long firewood. So we want a 20 inch long firewood. Found if we go 24, <clears throat> when you get a lot of coals in there, it's a pain to get the wood in there. If it's just as long as it'll take, but 16 inch long wood, putting more wood in your wood stove constantly. Moose, your feathers are growing back so nicely. Guesses. 13 and 16. I'll say 15. One, wrinkle one, two, four, six, eight. Why, hello. What was it? 
Eight. Why do you have Wait, that? I want it. I want it. Here. I'm trying to protect the goat. I can't believe the goats didn't come down. Look at that beautiful sky. It's heavy. Ready? You got it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Your pigs are big. I bet you they're going to be pushing 300 pounds. I want to make some blueberry crisp today. We're going to go to a friend's house for dinner and we're going to bring dessert. So I'm going to move this up quickly. I preheated the oven for 350 degrees and I'm going to just grease my pan. It might be too many blueberries for this, we'll see. I got this little sprayer from Amazon to put my avocado oil in instead of keep buying the sprays. It's worked pretty good. I feel like it saves some money that way. I'm just gonna give it a little bit extra. Hey, when I get the ones from the store and they're empty, you get empty at the bottom when you're trying to finish, and I can see how much I need, and I have my big bottle of avocado oil and just refill it. We like it. I did uh, apple crisp in the crock pot the other day. I like that because we got it ready and put it in crock or I got it ready and put it in before church, turned it on low and it was ready for barbecue that we went to get together when we get back. I'm just gonna wait a couple minutes for it to preheat and then I'll put it in the oven. Um, I'll put it in the oven um, probably 35, 40 minutes. You always have to adjust the temperatures if your ovens are different. Ours seems to cook a lot hotter than some. So just keep an eye on it. I like to set it a couple minutes sooner than any recipe calls for and then check on it. Oh, it looks like it's gonna look good. And the oven is ready, and we're going to stick it in there and cook it up. Looks perfect. Smells delicious. It does look good. Oh, oh no, I got blueberry on the counter. I always do that. Oh, man. It wears off, it takes a little bit. Let's go see what the black copper morans are doing. Are they roosting? No. 
they're sleeping on the hay bale. <laughs> Guys, you got a roosting pole. <laughs> you got a roosting pole over yonder. No? They'll figure it out at some point. Hopefully sooner than later. The blueberry cobbler was delicious. I'll have that linked in the video description down below. A lot of the projects we've been doing lately, it's like, oh, they're just quick little projects. They'll take no time. And then next thing you know, it's like, where'd that time go? It took 10 times longer than what I thought. But it's coming out good. Everything's looking good. We'll get there. We'll get everything done that we need to get done before winter comes. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead. I hope you guys are having a blessed fall and that you're getting some nice seasonal changing weather for you wherever you live. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you right back here in the next video.